All right, gang, back with a final video of the Maison Tahite Gourmand collection of fragrances. I did cacao first, then I did vanilla. Kind of reversed the orders because vanilla was launched first. Finally, I'm doing the coffee fragrances. And in the coffee fragrances, there's only four, whereas the other two collections had five. And so I'm gonna to talk to you about uh, the Maison Tahite coffee fragrance and ranked list. And then after the outro as well, I'm going to let you know my three favorites from each of the collection collections. So if you're curious to learn about these fragrances, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Maison Tahite's uh, coffee collection of fragrances. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that there is a giveaway. One lucky subscriber of this channel from the USA will get to win all of the samples from the, uh, the fragrances of this house. So it's 14 samples. And so one subscriber of this channel from the USA. This is sponsored by Ministry of Scent, which is a local perfume shop that carries the line. And they don't ship outside because they don't do business outside of the USA. They don't have any shipping services. So uh, I'll let you know about the giveaway after the uh, at the end of the video. But you know what? I attended Exxon's and uh, I saw the brand there. In fact, their sister brand to Laboratorio Olfativo. In fact, they have another house as well. And, uh, which I, I think they just rebranded uh, and I'm forgetting, I think it's called Anthology, something like that. I'm drawing a blank, but uh, I was hoping that they would launch a fourth collection and I was hoping it would be Caramel, but they didn't launch any new collections uh, from uh, this um, you know, house yet. So perhaps at the end of the year, they'll launch a new collection or maybe next year. But also I should say, I felt like the coffee collection is the weakest out of the entire series of fragrances. I felt like the cacao and the vanilla were pretty solid and there were definitely really favorites of mine. This one seemed to be a little lacking, but there's definitely one favorite of mine that I'm really, really loving. And then the rest of them come, uh, you know, of course before, but I'm gonna let you know about the first one first and my number four from uh, the coffee collection from Maison Tahite is, Cafe Gourmand here. So all the fragrances are sold at Ministry of Scent here in San Francisco. They do shipping. I have links in the info box. And I have my own sample set that uh, I've curated. And if you buy a bottle, you can actually add the sample set as well into the order and you can use the code to get the samples for free. So if you are in the market to buy any of these fragrances from Maison Tahite or any any house uh, over there at the Ministry of Scent, just add my own curated sample set and you can check out uh, with a code and get samples of those fragrances uh, that are custom uh, curated by me. But this is Cafe Gourmand at number four. All the fragrances from Maison Tahite are a 100 ml EDP or de parfum for $120. So the prices for these fragrances are fairly uh, in inexpensive. I feel like there are definitely great niche fragrances um, uh, and you don't have to, you know, break, uh, you spend a lot of money and, uh, you know, get fragrances that cost a lot of money, if that makes sense. So. This fragrance features saffron, arabica coffee, creamy hazelnut, patchouli, vetiver, cade wood, sandalwood, musk, and milk. So a few of the fragrances on this list do have milk as a note. None of them are really wearing milky for me. And unfortunately this one, it's not necessarily like uber intense with the coffee. I feel like the coffee is way in the background. And for me, it's a very saffron forward fragrance, which creates a leather accord. And I'm kind of swimming in saffron leather with that light hint of Arabica coffee that's supposedly in here. For me, it also creates a smokiness. So I, when I'm wearing it, it creates a smoky, you know, wear. And I'm like, wow, this is definitely not gourmand. And that's what I felt like with this collection of coffee fragrances. It's the least gourmand out of all of the gourmand fragrances. It's coffee after all. And I was kind of hoping it would be coffee forward. But for me with Cafe Gourmand, it focused on the saffron too much and it made the fragrance very smoky and leathery. So in the end, I put it here. But you know, some of you might be into this, you know, wearing a saffron leather fragrance with some hints of coffee in the background, maybe a bit of nuttiness, the earthiness of the patchouli comes in, you know, sandalwood. I'm not gonna say there's milk in here because I really didn't get the milkiness from uh, wearing this fragrance, but 
Perhaps some of you might might get it. It all depends on your sensitivities. Uh, I'm pretty sensitive to saffron, so it was really dominating here with this one. And I was hoping to have a little more coffee touch. And unfortunately, this one didn't become a coffee fragrance. And I kind of wanted it to be. And I like the name Café Gourmand, but for me, it's a very leathery saffron fragrance. So this is Café Gourmand at uh, number four here with Maison Tahite's uh, coffee collection. Let me know if you've sampled that one. And let me know if you have a favorite in the coffee collection of fragrances from Maison Tahite. Put a comment down so I can find out. So up next at number three, it is Velvet Coffee. So we're getting a little more gourmand here. This one I feel like is the second gourmand out of the collection, even though my second favorite is not as gourmand. Uh, I, I prefer it as a scent to wear more than uh, Velvet Coffee. But once again, it's $120 for 100ml EDP. This fragrance is created by Delphine LeBeau, and then it features notes of vetiver, orris, cardamom, coffee, cacao, patchouli, oak moss, vanilla, cedar, leatherwood, carrot, benzoin, sandalwood, and ambroxan. There's a lot going on in here, but this fragrance wear very, wears very orris iris forward, and lots of carrot as well, so it's a very, very powdery fragrance, and you'll definitely notice it. The, the, the idea of coffee does come in with spices. It's kind of like a cardamom coffee vibe, but very much in the background again. But you'll notice the coffee qualities here a little more than the last fragrance. But for me, we're de definitely very, very powdery here. And I feel like the orris and carrot creates a very powdery iris bomb, like a, you know, a, feel and wear and so you're uh, experiencing this uh, uh, iris oris uh, coffee vibe you know along the way you'll experience a little bit of a, ca a cacao touches like there's a bit of a light chocolatiness earthiness and some sweetness there's definitely some sweetness here and i wouldn't call this a full-on gourmand once again it's not necessarily wearing like that for me and oris iris i guess can be categorized kind of getting close to being gourmand, but for me, it's not necessarily going there. But I enjoyed this one much more than the Cafe Gourmand, and so I'm ranking it here at number three. And again, when you wear the fragrances, you might experience it you know, differently than I am. I'm getting a very iris, oris forward fragrance, along with the carrot. The carrot creates a very similar iris-like feel, so it's just an overdose of powderiness. But you'll have woodiness, you'll have some sweetness and earthiness along the way, and some muskiness there as well. You know, it's good. This is a good one for me. It's a velvet coffee. I just wish it was a little sweeter and a little more gourmand. But then again, you might be into this one and think it's uh, very gourmand. Uh, but do let me know if you've sampled it. Uh, put a comment down so I can find out. So up next at number two, we're going with the fragrance I Ristretto, this one right here. This is a fragrance created by Paul Guerlain. I spoke about one of his fragrances recently, Neroli Nasimba from uh, Maison Crivelli. Uh, if you haven't caught that video, go catch it. But here he's created a fragrance uh, for Maison Tahite, and I enjoy this one. This one is, once again, an iris forward fragrance, but this time they've added violet, and of course the coffee, this is a coffee fragrance after all. And we've got pink pepper, patchouli, cashmere. These are the only notes that are they're mentioned here. And for me, this feels like a bit of a makeup vibe going into a fragrance with coffee touches, if that makes sense. This one to me is less coffee than the previous one, but I like the way this one wears a bit on me and I like that style. It might, it might hint a little bit at something like, um, uh, Guerlain's Iris fragrance from the uh, Art at La Matie. I'm drawing a blank with that one, but it might hint at that a little bit because that fragrance is Iris and also coffee as well. But this one goes more makeup because the violet is in here mixed with the Iris. It creates a bit of a makeup accord. And also, I feel like there's a bit of a rosiness in here as well, even though they don't mention it. I kind of get this kind of a rosy vibe. And of course, that's why I'm kind of reminded of makeup, Iris, violet together. So it's very, very powdery and a bit spicy and also earthy and definitely has musky touches but I really enjoy this one here it's not gourmand whatsoever to me even though it has the coffee in there it wears more like iris violet kind of makeup with a hint of coffee in there uh, so that's a uh, iris stretto from Maison Tahite and that's at number two do let me know if you've sampled that one and then finally my favorite out of the coffee collection by a long mile here this is a coffee bomb this one right here
This is coffee bomb, right? Yes, this is coffee bomb. So this one right off the bat was a favorite of mine because it reminds me of a fra fragrance that's discontinued. If you're a fan of something like uh, Cafe Tuberose from, uh, uh, is it uh, Atelier Cologne? Yeah, forgotten them already because they're not even selling in the States yet. But if you're a fan of that fragrance, this is something you definitely should check out. It's kind of a similar fragrance in that it has all the similar qualities, but it's missing the tuberose. So once you add the tuberose, you get that kind of a quality. But for me, it smells like it a lot. This is a fragrance created by Arturetto Landi. It features notes of coffee, leather, rose, frankincense, patchouli, tree moss, jasmine, iris, heliotrope, cardamom, black pepper, saffron, milk, vanilla, cacao. And this one, even though they mentioned milk, I don't get a milky vibe as much. Just like the um, Cafe Tuberosa from uh, Atelier Cologne, there's definitely a, the idea of dry and drip coffee with a very, very, very light hint of milk in here. But you do experience the rose. There's definitely a rosy quality, maybe a bit of jasmine. In fact, I think they've replaced the tuberose that was in Cafe Tuberose to Rosa with the jasmine in this one. And of course it also gets powdery and you know spicy as well. This one's really, really delicious. The more I spray it, the more I wanna spray more. It reminds me of that fragrance. It might remind a little bit of Intense Cafe as well, but you know, Intense Cafe is very milky, creamy, lactonic. This is not lactonic to me whatsoever. At least on me, it's not wearing that way. It's more like dry coffee or drip coffee where you're experiencing or smelling the coffee, but it's mixed in with a bunch of other things, whereas it's not, you know, mixed with milk. But really delicious. Coffee Bomb is really, really delicious. And my favorite fragrance from the coffee collection for Maison Tahite. So those are my thoughts on these four fragrances. If I picked my number one is your least favorite. I'm sorry, this is how I feel. I like gourmand fragrances, and I should say Coffee Bomb is probably also the most gourmand out of all of them. It wears more like a gourmand. You can really smell the coffee in this one. It's right there in your face. Of course, it has a bit of leathery touches, but again, I like that reminder of uh, Cafe Tuberosa from Atelier Cologne, and that's why I've selected it here as my favorite. Uh, so those are my thoughts. As I said, let me do the giveaway. We're doing a giveaway of 14 samples, the entire Maison Tahite, collection of fragrances to one subscriber of this channel from the USA. Please put down a comment below and let me know what you uh, liked about this video. And then if you were to select one uh, of the fragrances, which one would you select? Even though you're not winning a whole fragrance, you're winning the samples. I'd like to find out which one sounds the best to you. And don't pick the one I picked. I want to find out if there's something else that you might like uh, by hearing what I thought, you know, what I thought about the fragrances. And then of course, put down your state and uh, make sure you're subscribed. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye. All right, so as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm doing a quick recap of my three favorite fragrances from Maison Tahite each from uh, a collection. So from the coffee collection, of course, as I said, I really enjoy Coffee Bomb. It reminds me of Cafe Tuberosa, really love that about it. Uh, and of course, it's got the, you know lots of coffee. It's a, the most gourmand and it's got that rose in there, some leather, and then of course the floral touches and the chocolate and the vanilla and a very, 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 very tiny amount of something milky in there way in the back that you might pick up. But in the end, this is uh, quite delicious and I love that about it. And it's very, very wearable and very, very gourmand. I love delicious fragrances because I love sweets and pastries and you know desserts and things like that. So I like fragrances that remind me of sweet treats and that's, what I like about Coffee Bomb. So that is Coffee Bomb, my favorite coffee fragrance from Maison Tahite's coffee collection. And then going to the vanilla collection, my favorite in the vanilla collection is Van Ecstasy. And what I like about this one is that it does have a milkiness. Here we have some milkiness for sure. It's definitely coconutty milky and also lots of spicy uh, spices and spiciness. And then of course there's ambery touches here, caramel and uh, creaminess from sandalwood. And it's a very, very delicious, very, very delicious vanilla fragrance. Definitely, again, I feel like the vanilla and cacao collection 
collections are a lot more solid than the coffee collections, especially when you're talking about gourmands, because these are supposed, um, to me, they're supposed to be gourmand fragrances, and I didn't get much gourmand until I got to Coffee Bomb with the coffee collection. But with the vanilla collection and the cacao collection, you definitely have a lot of uh, gourmand things happening. But my favorite vanilla in the vanilla collection from Maison Tahite is Van Ecstasy. Let me know if you've tried that one. And here, I think we're going to be a little different here with the Cacao Collection. My favorite happens to be not so much of a gourmand. It's Cacao Libertine, and I love this one. Really love it because it's a beautiful combination of cacao and patchouli together. It's an overdose of patchouli and cacao or cocoa. And I always mention that there's this chocolate cakey-ness that happens with some, you know, patchouli fragrances. And here we've got that really in your face, the cocoa, the patchouli. And with this one, you've also got some caramel, cardamom, vanilla, rose, benzoin, bergamot, and mandarin. And you can totally smell the rose in here as well. It's really delicious. And it seems like I've picked two fragrances, Coffee Bomb and, uh, you know, uh, this one, uh, Cacao Libertine uh, with uh, rose, uh, some rose prominence. But I have to say Cacao Libertine also reminds me a little bit of Cafe Tuberosa uh, without the coffee. So there's a reason why I like it because I really love that fragrance. And here we've got um, the patchouli cacao take on uh, Cafe Tuberosa. And then with um, coffee, uh, Coffee Bomb, we have uh, the more of a coffee and rose take on Cafe Tuberosa. But either way, those are my thoughts on these fragrances. Again, if you are in the market to buy any of these fragrances, remember uh, you can use the, the code that's in the info box and add the sample set that I have curated for Ministry of Scent and it'll give you those samples for free. Those are some of my favorite fragrances that are sold at Ministry of Scent. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back with another video very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.